Hello, everyone, and welcome. This is Clint Wolf, and I'm a software engineer lead at LexisNexis. My team is responsible for the search platform that powers our media intelligence and entity due diligence monitoring products. Today, I'm going to be talking about how we dedupe and collapse similar news documents in one of our products, Nexus Diligence. First, let's talk about the problem that we're trying to solve. So a lot of our searches run over a large amount of news content. We have close to 4 billion overall documents. And because of syndic syndicated content and news wires, it is very common for multiple publishers to publish identical or nearly identical documents. When a user runs a search, they don't wish to have their results page cluttered with a list of highly similar documents like you see here. So what we do is collapse the similar documents and give the user the ability to expand and view them. Now let's talk about how we accomplish this. So step number one is to detect the similar documents. Now what you see here is a very simplified diagram of our content ingestion pipeline. We have a series of transform and enrichment processes that content travels through and is then indexed into our search engine. One of these processes is the similar document detection process. The goal of this process is to make sure highly similar documents are assigned the same duplicate group ID. This duplicate group ID is then added as a field to the document and available in Elasticsearch. There are many ways that could be used to detect document similarity. We use a variation of the minhash algorithm in order to accomplish this. So let's assume this is the content of a document flowing through the similar document detection process. We first create shingles from the content of size four. So we start with the first four words, then move to the second word and take four words, then move to the third word and take four words, and so on until we reach the end of the content. Then we hash each shingle and we keep the lowest five hash values. We have an index with all previous document IDs, duplicate group IDs, and hash values. And we run a query to see if we have a previous document where four out of five of the hash values match. If so, we consider this new document to be a duplicate document, and we set the duplicate group ID to the same duplicate group ID of the matching document. If no previous documents are matched, we create and set a new duplicate group ID, effectively starting a new duplicate group. And then we index the document ID, duplicate group ID, and hash values of the new document that we're processing. This method may work for you, and it might not. Uh, choosing a method is dependent on performance requirements and the degree of similarity that you want to enforce in order for documents to be considered a duplicate of each other. And then for step number two, uh, we need to collapse the similar documents when searching. So when performing the search, we use a feature called field collapsing in Elastic by adding the short collapse syntax that you see in the left-hand side search query. This will ensure that our results list will only contain one document from each duplicate group. It can actually be a pretty big performance hit to retrieve the similar dot count and inner hits as part of this request because a separate search is performed behind the scenes for each individual result on a page. So what we do is actually run a secondary request to retrieve the similar dot counts for each document on a page of results as seen on the right hand side. We query on the list of duplicate group IDs for a page of results and then run, run a terms aggregation on the duplicate group ID. Uh, the scripted terms aggregation that you see here is a performance trick that tells Elastic to not load the global ordinals, which can be very time consuming for a field with high cardinality like the duplicate group ID. Step number three is to expand the similar document list when a user clicks on the expansion we run a query to retrieve the documents for a single duplicate group ID. And we also need to send a highlight query that is modeled off of the original query so that the proper highlights can be applied. And here I am, uh, feel free to ask any questions in the chat, but also feel free to reach out via email or LinkedIn with any additional questions or just to chat about the presentation. Uh, thank you very much for listening and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, bye-bye.